What up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at T-Mobile's home internet 5G. Uh, I had it for a couple of days now and I've been pretty pleased with it. Uh, I'm replacing uh, AT&T DSL here in my area, RGB Texas. Uh, this just became available and for 50 bucks a month. Uh, it sounds too good to be true, but hey, let's try it out. We're going to be testing it on my tablet, Surface Pro, the Fire Tablet, HD8, and my iPhone, as well as my PlayStation 5. We're going to be testing the Wi-Fi and the hardwired connection. Uh, so as you can see, it's already set up. It's in my room. It says I have a very good connection. So first of all, let's get started with the phone. And we'll take it from there. So we're gonna be testing the Surface Pro 4 on Wi-Fi. Let's see. As you saw earlier, the iPhone got about 161 download and I believe like 59, 61 upload. So the Surface Pro just got 107 download. And about close to 19 megabits and upload, <clears throat> excuse me. That's for the Surface Pro, not bad. I mean, you guys saw the numbers for my AT&T DSL service that were pretty horrible. So yeah, the AT&T numbers were pretty horrible. 11.2 uh, megabits download and I believe 0.79 for the upload, so terrible. So let's test out the Fire Tablet HD8. This is the 2020 version. Welcome to speed test. This is the first time I'm gonna run it here. Let's continue, allow. I don't know why it wants it, but I don't make phone calls on this one anyway, so. Okay, done. All that just to get a test done. Wow, okay, so let's go. So this little <clears throat> this little fella got 135 for download. Let's see the upload. Sixty two point six, which is the highest of the devices so far. Not bad at all. Now we'll go test out the PS5, see what we get. So we're gonna be testing the PS5. So we got that's mine up there, one says Garcia 5G. Test the internet connection. Start test, I'm not playing anything online. And to be honest, the PS5 was one of the reasons I decided to get the T-Mobile one uh, because I'm not a big online gaming player, but I download a lot of games and some of those games take like two days on my AT&T deal so so I had to like leave it overnight and it's just annoying so we'll see what kind of speeds we get through Wi-Fi and then we'll do the hardwired connection We're 
still waiting on that speed. So we got 101.3 megabits per second, which is a big improvement. Like I said earlier, compared to my AT&T DSL one, oof, this is like 10 times faster. So I'm pretty pleased with it, but now let's test it with the hardwired connection. So we did the wired connection. It's connected to the modem right there. Let's test the connection again. Start the test. Let's see how much of a difference we get. With the Wi-Fi, we had 101. We're hoping to go a little bit higher with the wired connection. This thing takes a while for it to test it. So I'm surprised we actually went down to 62.8 megabits per second. That's significantly slower than the Wi-Fi connection. Let's check the upload. Eighteen point seven, not bad, but I'm a little bit disappointed with the hardwired connection. Maybe it's the cable that I'm using, uh, but we'll test it out on the surface and see what we get there. <laughs> 